Hey everyone, I wanted to let you know about a scam that's going around. I actually saw this myself. Fortunately, as a Verizon retailer, I know what you know to kind of look for. And you know, this caught me uh, immediately as being something strange. Well, I got a call from someone that claimed to be from Verizon. And interestingly enough, they were calling me from the Verizon customer service number. I know the number by heart. So I answered the phone and the gentleman said that you know, to use a, 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 you know, a term there, the gentleman said, uh, you know, he's calling from Verizon and they're upgrading from 4G to 4.5G and my phone has been having problems. Well, first of all, I know there's no 4.5G. Second of all, I haven't had any problems with my phone. So um, I said, okay, you know, so what's the problem? Well, we need to access your account to fix this. And what we're doing is we're sending you a temporary code. Just tell me what that code is. So what's going on here is Verizon, if you come into my store, if you go into any Verizon store and you can't remember your PIN code, what they'll do is they'll give you a temporary PIN code in order to access your account. And usually if you do that online as well, they'll send you a temporary code to verify that it's you. So what the person was trying to do, the scammer was trying to do, was trying to get me to repeat to them what that temporary code that Verizon sent me. So the text message I got was legitimately from Verizon because another person that they were teaming up with called Verizon to say that they were me. And the person that I was speaking to was to, his job was to get me to repeat back to him the text message code. From there, he would relay that to the other person who would tell Verizon, yes, here's the code, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it is, the PIN code. And then Verizon would say, oh, okay, this must be the right customer. He would then change my PIN to something else. And then from there, they have full access to your account. What they can do is they can go into a store with fake ID, use your phone number and your PIN number, and then buy additional devices on your account, upgrades, new lines, whatever they might want to do. The other thing I'm understanding that they're doing is then assigning your phone number to somebody else outside the country or to somebody that's traveling and you know, it's racking up significant bills. So hopefully this is helpful. If you get a call even from Verizon that you weren't expecting, hang up and call Verizon back because that's exactly what I did. And the Verizon account rep that I spoke to said, yes, someone was just trying to access your account, didn't get access because they didn't have the pin code. And, you know, had I given that number, they would have had access and I may not have known what was going on. So hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, definitely post below. But thanks so much for watching. And, uh, you know, I greatly appreciate your business and hope this is helpful to all of you. Thanks for watching.